from CBS News in Washington, Face the Nation with Bob Schieffer. And good morning again. Uh, California's Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein is joining us in the uh, studio this morning. Uh, Senator, you introduced this legislation Friday uh, to ban assault weapons, reinstate the ban. Uh, you got this passed once before. It was uphill all the way. Uh, you can see this time it's going to be uphill. But why do you think you can get it passed? Well, I think I can get it passed because the American people are very much for it. There's a new poll out, uh, 50,000 people in the uh, field, 68% uh, supportive of a ban on assault weapons. I think what happens is that you have one group, namely the National Rifle Association, that has such a pronounced view that dominates the arena but we have the United States Conference of Mayors, we have the major city chiefs, we have the largest police organization in the world supporting us, we, we have individual chiefs and sheriffs, we have pediatricians, trauma, trauma room surgeons, surgeons, excuse me, uh, teachers, you name it, all the way down, we have the clergy. Uh, we had the dean of the National Cathedral uh, launch this and talk about the effort that he's going to put together among clergy of all types and sects and religions in the United States to support this. This is an uphill climb. Uh, it is a slightly, it's, it is a different bill than I introduced. We go from two physical characteristics in the definition of an assault weapon to one. Uh, we ban 158 specific. Uh, guns by make and model. We grandfather 2,200 weapons by make and model that are rifles, shotguns, uh, pistols used for recreation, defense, hunting. Um, we ban clips, drums or strips of more than 10 bullets, um, prohibit their manufacture, their sale, their transfer. We are different from the New York state law we do not require registration of grandfathered weapons. In that regard, we are also different from the California law. In a sense, it's a little more moderate in that regard because the gun organizations uh, regard uh, registration as, quote, the first step but to when confiscation. But when somebody sells one of these guns that they may have now or gives it to someone else? We require a full background check of the transferee, the person to whom the gun is transferred. Do you think that the NRA is now more or less powerful than it was 20 years ago when you passed this legislation? Originally? Well, I think they're equally as powerful. They're now supported by a lot of the gun manufacturers. They've certainly extended uh, their arm. Uh, this morning's front page story in the New York Times uh, tells about their efforts to provide training and weapons to youngsters, 8 to 15 year olds. As a matter of fact, I saw a very young youngster with an AR-15 in the newspaper this morning. Uh, that's the, the same type weapon that was used at Sandy Hook School. I know what happened to the bodies at Sandy Hook School. And um, to have these weapons uh, just floating around our society, and particularly with youngsters who are by, by nature unpredictable, um, is a bit frightening. Let, let me ask you this. Uh, some people clearly see, and I think they're sincere about it, uh, that they just feel this infringes on their rights and that this is the first step to taking their gun away from them. Well, let me talk about rights for a minute. Does a child have a right to be safe in school? Does a law client, when it goes, he goes into a law firm, have a right to believe he's safe? Does a shopper in a mall have a right to believe that she's safe? I think so. And what's been happening as these incidents happen, look at Aurora, people sitting in a theater, somebody with a hundred rounds in a drum came in and just mowed down people. Do people going to movies have a right to be safe? I want to talk about rights, talk about the rights of the majority too. What about, uh, uh, what about the, uh, the idea that which some gun rights supporters uh, cite, they say, look, uh, all of this is just to make people feel good. It's just kind of feel-good legislation that in the end it's not going to stop these kinds of incidents. Well, that's absolutely not true. Uh, what we are trying to do is overall 
see that weapons, I would like to see them all registered, it's not in our bill, but see that weapons are in the hands of responsible citizens, that they are used legally, not illegally, that they do not fall into the hands of gangs. Do you realize we have 150,000 plus gang members in, in this uh, nation? When they go up against the police, it's generally an AK-47. Do uh, you realize that police have had to break into gun stores uh, to get weapons that would be stronger than the adversary they had? Do uh, you realize that one out of every five law enforcement officers that's killed is killed with an assault weapons? Do you need assault weapons? These are weapons that are made to kill large numbers of people in close combat. And what we have found that now with the AR-15, they have a slide stock which you put in, it's legal, and it makes the gun act fully automatic. Let me uh, change the subject just quickly because you are so also chairman of the Intelligence Committee. Uh, we've got some bad stuff apparently going on uh, uh, in Mali and other places. Uh, you know, uh, a couple of months ago people were saying we basically won the war on terror. Uh, how much of a threat do you think terrorism is right now? I think it remains a real threat. I do not believe it has gone away. Uh, I believe there's now, this is just my belief, an effort to establish a beachhead for terrorism, a joining together of terrorist organizations. I think Benghazi was a small symptom of that. Uh, in Northern Africa, in Mali, in other countries in that area. Uh, I compliment the French for taking vigorous action. I believe very strongly what the United States needs to do is put together our allies into an alliance, bring in Russia, bring in China, because I think it's to the interests of civilized countries to have an apparatus to be able to take down and rent asunder terrorist groups wherever they appear. All right. Diane Feinstein, thank you so much. For thank you very us. much.